last time uh, also we were very close to the success and uh, unfortunately uh, we uh, got into the problem in the very last uh, minute into that so this time we have analyzed the problems what were the problems for example uh, you see one was uh, the thruster operation did not go as per the requirement after 2.1 kilometer and that also happened because of what is called dispersion of the path of the lander from 2.1 kilometer to the surface of the moon there was a variation in its path and this uh, dispersion or variation can be caused due to various factors because uh, of there is a thin atmosphere on the moon's uh, closest surface and uh, that can cause uh, this dispersion or the gravitation forces of the other celestial bodies can do so and this dispersion uh, main problem was it was beyond the range of correction of the computer which is on the lander and that is why it could not correct it and uh, because of that the thruster firing went wrong and then uh, the mission was really lost in the last minute whereas now uh, we are understanding the problems in chandrayaan 2 taken all the corrective measures in fact what we did this time is we visualized various failure scenarios what could happen and we have included all the measures to overcome that if any of the scenario for failure happens and another important thing isro scientists have done is uh, added redundancies that means uh, if one uh, part of a system fails then similar uh, system has been included it will take over so this kind of redundancy it is called and there are uh, redundancies for many things in fact uh, you know actually navigation and uh, guidance and control these are the key elements of the computer brain and the navigation what it does it always sees and ensures that the lander is in the correct position and the correct orientation as well as the guidance system its function is to give right commands at the right time to the control systems to execute and the control right. system executes this command through the thruster firing 